we're also going to release all those documents. Last night at dinner, we had, yeah. we had discussed some of this, and you had mentioned that the, you have video of an extraterrestrial being dissected. Photo. It's photo. a photo. Excuse me. That is very strange from 1920s. The provenance of that is very interesting. A woman uh, contacted me, and her grandmother had worked at Los Alamos, I mean, at the Trinity site on the Manhattan Project. But then they got moved to Roswell, and her mother was there when they, those three craft went down. We found two of them. One wasn't found until 1951. Um, and by the way, that was an early electro DEW, directional energy weapon, that downed those. And people say, oh, they crashed in a thunderstorm. I'm going, I'm quite sure if you can go through interstellar space, you can navigate an Earth-based thunderstorm. Um, but I have a document, and this is in the uh, unacknowledged book, of a field agent writing to J. Edgar Hoover about this so-called Roswell event, saying that these flying saucers, they called them disks, crashed because we had switched on a new, quote, radar system. So for those people who don't know, radar is often a euphemism for both a system that detect objects bouncing radio waves off of aircraft, but also in some of them are active warfare systems, electromagnetic warfare systems. So they had an early uh, electromagnetic system in that new radar system. And this field agent, Guy Hotel, H-O-T-T-E-L-L, -L, wrote to J. Ever Hoover as a field agent. I have that document. When I released it, 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 it the FBI had to release it. It became the most watched, looked at document on the FBI site. But it flat out says that that's what happened. So um, that woman, the grandmother, somehow went from the Manhattan Project to being at Roswell. Well, why? In 1947, the Roswell Army Air Base, it was before the Air Force was formed, was the only uh, atomic bomb squadron in the world the 508th squadron in the whole planet. So she was there because she f followed that operation from the origins of the atomic bomb, you know, out at White Sands and, and out there, to New Mexico. So when that event happened, apparently someone must have brought in, this is conjecture now, some kind of archive of previous encounters with these objects that went way back. And someone in the photo lab took a picture of a picture. We've proven that's what it is. And it's a, it's an extraterrestrial on a, on a dissection with a group of doctors and what looked like some suits in the background. And we've, we've had the top historian, medical historian in the world look at the equipment, the suits, the gloves, and dated it from between 1922 and 29. Um, now, the rest of it we don't know. We don't know what event that was, where it was taken. We're trying to track down the personnel that are in there, but we're talking 100 years ago. What does the ET look like? Does it have arms? Does it have legs? Yeah, fingers, arms, legs. Eyes? Head. The head is covered with a towel. Apparently, it was badly mutilated. Um, it had a weird, almost like a spine uh, on the front, like we have a sternum that you could see, like a bumpy thing. Um, different hands and feet. Two arms? Mm, two arms, two, two legs. legs. Oh, yeah. They're all um, like that. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Hey, everybody. I'm Sean Ryan. Click here to subscribe to the Sean Ryan Show YouTube channel for the hottest and most compelling interviews that you will not see anywhere else. I've also made a playlist of all the previous SRS episodes so they're easy to find. You can find that right here.